Hey guys, Lo here again. So, the study that I'm doing at the moment is very green. Everything must be green. Also, everything must be good for the environment. My clothes were green, and eventually, even my earbuds were green as well. Because, well, everything must be green. But that was rather a coincidence. The shop that gave me my earbuds didn't have black anymore. They only had green. Everything must be green because green is a beautiful color. It's the best color. It's amazing. I preferred red or blue before the study, but it's green now. Everybody knows green is the best color. No, it's, it's blue, but forget that. It's green now. So, one day I had to determine plants. Because I was in a green study, it was very important that we learn some plants. We had to give them a specific name so we would remember the plant better. For example, we called a daisy a yellow heart because that little thing in the middle, that yellow thingy, it's called a heart. So we called it yellow heart. I did not take the naming very seriously and that made for some interesting names. So this one plant, it was all brown and ugly. It looked like it was dying. Quite sad. So I named it Death. You can swing around the facts or you can just embrace it. Even though this is normal for the plant, it, it really doesn't look healthy to me. Then of course we had a terrible plant nettle. A very easily kind of a hated plant. But we figured nettles irritate the skin. They won't give us nettles. That'll hurt our little skin and our feelings. So we touched it and it did indeed not irritate our skin. It was a Lambium album more commonly known as white nettle. It looks like a nettle, but it is not a nettle. It is a fake. So I called it imposter. And then we had hogweed. At least it looked like hogweed. But again, we figured hogweed is poisonous. They won't give us hogweed. That hurt our feelings. This was also a fake hogweed. And it did not give anyone burning wounds. Also a fake. So, naturally, I called it Imposter 2.0. I mean, who wouldn't do that? Also, there was this very cute plant without any flowers. It was just a little bush. So, I called it Precious Little Bush because it was so cute and tiny and precious. So, you see this plant? It is obviously purple, isn't it? I mean, you see that? That is purple. But it is actually called Red Clover, where I live at least. I mean, was the guy who named that colorblind? It is so obviously purple. I called it purple. Everyone would call this purple. But no, they had to call it a red clover. Oh, there was also this flower that looked like it was a flower within a flower. It was like flowerception. That was also how I called it. Flowerception. And then the last one. By far the best and cutest flower of the bunch. Its petals were heart-shaped, and it just screamed, love me, all over the place. A beautiful, lovely flower. And that one beautiful flower, I called it love. It's a big lie, you should never believe it. it. It's terrible, it's hurtful, it's awful, it's nonsense, it doesn't really exist, and everything is agony when you're in love. Dot JPEG. Thank you all again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next video. Low out.